Hi guys, it's Zenma and today we are overcast outside so I'm not going to be blinding you with the back lights anymore. See? See? I mean I can sit back and you're not blinded but there's like a whole bunch of junk back there. Like my dad has his all this junk over here. So I'm trying to like minimize the junk that you see. But today I'm going to do a get ready with me. Um, I'm hopefully I'm planning, it's payday so I'm going out to town. I really want to get a new camera so I need to do that. I need to get my medicine. I think I want to meet my parents because they're in town already. Meet them for lunch. And yeah, I figured I'd try this get ready with me chit chatty sort of video. Um, I've seen some where they just like, they're, they mute the video and they do a voiceover. And instead they just talk and do makeup at the same time. That's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it'll be all right. Never done one before. Um, my makeup mirror was like packed underneath so much stuff I couldn't get to it I'm just gonna use a mirror that's in one of these palettes um I'll show you I brought I got this cute little I get these attachables yeah but look at these cute little critters that was for Easter but it's gonna be for my lipstick that I use so I always take one with me and it's usually a different one and I had a mug and it was getting overfilled so I figured this is the perfect size for me to put a lipstick in and, and go so I'm gonna have my cat ears on so that way this, I got like a couple of stray strands of hair that are too short to keep in the bun in and I, oh, I got some brand new concealer because elf for some reason is having a really good sale at Walmart like all their stuff's on clearance I guess trying to rush in the new stuff and I had to get some face primer um but yeah this is just some of the lipstick that I have and it's Jeffree Star it's wet and wild it's I am crime. I mean, it's everything. I get every brand. There's Mac in there, so I figured that'd be a nice and easy way to put put it because I've been trying to find one of those clear things to put lipstick in or your lip glosses or whatever, and I can't find one. Not in the Walmart here, and not in the big ones in the towns further away. So I'm gonna have to order one. Um. So for me, um, I was thinking of an intro. Um, because I'm trying to think of something for a while now, and I want your views on it. You know, my name's Denma. It stands for Den Mother, so Denma, because I'm into wolves. That's my thing. I love wolves. Even though I'm wearing, like, a Jamaican lion shirt right now, I got this on face and me. Please don't say I'm culturally appropriating anything, because that kind of reminds me of Bob Marley, and Bob Marley made music for everybody. So, I mean, and he always spread word about peace and love and good stuff. And don't come after me, okay? I'm not in the mood. I hate it when people get too butthurt over things that it's stealing from our culture. Okay, so if you wear blue contacts and put your hair up in your ponytail, you're stealing from white culture. I don't know. I'm probably going to get a dislike for that or I'm going to have some comments below. Blah, 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 blah. Keyboard warriors. But I think every there's a difference between appropriation and stealing from culture and appreciation for the culture. And I think a lot of times it's appreciation for the culture, but somebody wants to be the victim, and so it becomes a bill thing, and it's cultural appropriation. Okay. Like, if you do, like, blackface for Halloween, that is definitely cultural appropriation. That's not right. That's not cool. No. Even though it's a day where you're supposed to be able to dress up the way you want, don't do that. That's just wrong. It's rude. So, that's kind of my two cents a lot of situation. Please don't hate me for it. That's just my opinion. You don't have to follow my opinion, but it just seems like in times now, with what's going on, we need to like worry less about little things like that and more about the bigger things happening in the world right now. And um, see, and this world's gonna last much longer. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what my makeup box looks like. It is a little box I got it Tuesday morning, which is like a a Marshalls or a Ross. But without the clothes it's all like home decor toys um crafting supplies it's better to, better than me than tj Maxx or ross this was 10 bucks and it's this huge huge toy box and it is full <laughs> um let's see if i can show you without dumping i got this color pop box in there because this is what i usually use and if i have to go anywhere like on a trip i pack what i'm going to use in here and put it in my suitcase but yeah, there was like more stuff behind it. Oh, you can't see it. Trust me, there's a lot in here. And this whole zip. 
and it's got cute little woodland creatures on it. I have an affinity for creatures. But anyways, I was talking about opening. Um, I'm big into wolves. Like I said, my, my, my name is Denma, which means Den Mother. Like, ma, mother. You know, that type of thing. Um, so I was thinking, okay, welcome to the wolf's den. Or, well, and then I would call when you would come, welcome to the pack. Or something like that when I get a new subscriber. I don't know. Something around those lines. I don't know if it's too... Because I want to be one of those like friendly channels that you can talk to. I'll reply in the comments. You can message me, all the good stuff. But I don't know if it sounds like welcome to the pack or welcome to the wolf's den. It sounds kind of aggressive. So I don't know. But it's the only thing I can think of that has to do with wolves that would make sense. So, you know, I would do a Twitter poll like everybody else does. But you can comment down below if you like Welcome to the Den Wolf's Den. I think that's gonna be my intro from now on. And at the end I'll do something that has um something to do with the pack like like, subscribe, and welcome and join the pack. You know, kinda like what Bunny does with the giving an alligator its wings type of thing. But with join the pack, you know? Yeah. It kinda makes sense. I don't know if anybody's done it before. I don't so if somebody has done it for me, don't come for me for that. Just don't come for me at all, because I will quickly put you in your place if you come for me. And I don't like little keyboard warriors that can't stand anything that isn't their opinion and isn't and if it's not their opinion and it isn't right type of thing. So I'm just going to do a basic a basic look <laughs> for going out. Which means primer, green concealer. Regular concealer, foundation, setting. I use the setting powder. Then I do my eyebrows usually, and then I do my eyes, and then I highlight. Or if I need to contour or anything, I don't really contour anymore since I found this new foundation that actually is a good shade. I don't need to. But if I ever do contour, I would contour and set it all. Let's see. But I always have to add glitter. Glitter is my jam, y'all. This is the best setting powder, and I did not know setting your face was such an important step because it makes your look like after you get your foundation, like your base on, it just brings it together so well. Alright, and I got the new e.l.f. illuminating. Well, it's not new, but it's illuminating mist and set. The one I had before was matte, so this is supposed to kind of give you like a little dewy effect. So I haven't used it yet, so we're gonna see how that works. I'm trying to think of what colors am I gonna wear this shirt out or the shirt? I think I'll just wear this shirt out. I don't know. It's kind of tight, so I'm just tight on my makeup, my lipsticks, and that one thing. Cause my mom likes to come and steal my lipsticks. So that way, it'll be easily accessible for her to borrow my lipsticks. I have one nude palette, kind of, sort of, and it's all glitter. I love anything that sparkles, honestly. Okay. And I love these ColourPop. I've got two of them. The other one must be in this box. These ColourPops, Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighters. Um, on this one, this is the one I've been using the most because it was the first one I came to. I have Hippo and Monster. This one's Hippo, but you can see I've got a good dent going in this thing. It's actually hit pan, and I just like since it's kind of like a gel or it's, it's like a cream I just smooth it over so I don't see that I hit <laughs> and then here's monster which is um, not as pinky as this one is you really can't tell with my shitty camera but they look the same absolutely the same this one's more warm tone this one's more neutral cool tone all right so I think I'm gonna use the regular one. I'm trying to think of the eye color that I want to use today. So, alright, get all my concealers. I'm trying to get it all out in the pile. I'm very big into teal. I've got like five different teal colors. Like this one has like a gold shift in it. This one's just teal and I like to do the little mermaid. I like purple on the inside and I blend it out to teal. That's the big thing that I do. I've got Laura Lee's little cat nap. ColourPop. I got two of her, I think. There it is. I've got 
They're very similar, except one's a little bit darker. And it's Ritz and Catnap. And I like putting Ritz on all over and then Catnap out on the edges. And kind of doing a little bit of an ombre fade. So, where is it? I'll show you everything I used once I decided to use it. I'm just trying to think what kind of look do I want. I try to keep all my brushes and my two little mini little mascaras in here. Um, I got the little Bad Gal Bang mini trial size. So I wanted to see if it was what everybody was hyped up about. And this works amazingly. This is going to be my new favorite. I do have a little mini better than sex one. And my favorite has been this Manga, Miss Manga Rock Voluminous, but I've only been able to find Miss Manga to replace it. And I don't know if it's the same formula or the same wand or anything. Because I got this for Christmas like two years ago. And I have pretty much used it all up. I probably need to throw it out. Where's this thing that tells you how good it's open? Well, it doesn't tell you. Okay. Probably 18 months. But, um... This one says six months once you open it. So, but this is what I've been, I like. This is my go-to. This is you can get, you can get Miss Manga from Walmart, and I'll have a pink cap. I'll have to try that out and see if it's the same thing. But anyway, I keep my um, brushes in this cute little Pikachu cup I got from the Walmart party section. I love these little 94 cent cups. I've got a ton of them. I've got Harry Potter ones. I got Suicide Squad. I've got Hunger Games ones. I've got. I'm looking for those Zootopia ones. But they're really expensive for some reason on eBay, so. That. I think I'm not going to go with the highlighter today. I'm just going to do that. Get my brush up. And this is the little brush that I use for the. that came with the Milani Brunette Stay Put Brow Color. Oh, and I'm almost out of this. I want to get some more of this too. Um. I just I don't do anything fancy with my brows I just kind of fill them in a little bit and make them a little bit darker um I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff with you put the corrector underneath and you make it really I'm not all about that life okay that's a little too much for me so just get out the brushes that I'm going to use I'm using color pop so I can't use the fluffy brush I have to use these brushes these little densely packed brushes from e.l.f are very good for these ColourPop Super so Shop shadows. So, that's my blush brush. Where's my blush? Okay. And then, I use that for the highlight. Oh. Mouth shut. Keep it shut, Kirsten. Keep it shut. I, like I said, I didn't get some new stuff. I got some new eye primer. Because this is out. And what sucks about these nude bottles you can't tell how much you have in them. It irritates the crap out of me. Got some more of this. I use this face primer, Photo Focus Wet n Wild. Supposedly it helps redness, but my redness isn't like a skin disease or anything. It's because my medicine that's in this little pump thing causes flushing. So that's why I got into makeup. So yeah. Um, and then I got this Elf oh, Perfect Blend Concealer because my concealer, this one is actually running low. So. I'm not going to open it quite yet. So, I think I got everything that I'm going to use. Oh, I just got this last time I went to Walmart to get this. Stay Glossy 3D. It kind of looks like the nail polish I'm wearing, which is Daydreamer by Revlon. It's like it's the same color of your nail bed, except it's got a little bit of gold reflux in it. So, it kind of like color changes on you. But you have to do like three coats to get it opaque. Cause like right here under my nail, it looks like dirt, but it's not dirt. It's from where I dyed my hair. It stained the under part of my nail. Cause this is, I went through my hair with this hand like that. And I got most of it out of the other ones, but for some reason this stain will not come out of this nail. So I've got to let it grow out so I can cut it off. But it's very similar to that. I think I'm gonna go with that. It's um, like I said, it's like a peachy pink with gold reflex in it. It's a gloss. So that's what I'm gonna go with today. Alright, so put you back in your little home. I have also I get all these hot topic kits because these actually work really good. I got this one. 
and I've got this one's my favorite right the interstellar one magic spell and the pastel one because they work pretty damn good for like what, 890 I think they are a piece and if you can get them on clearance that's even better and then they have the themed ones like the supernatural one and all that and this is my next favorite palette to use whenever I want bright bright colors that I know are gonna pay off that I don't have any qualms about I use this Tekken Super Brazil palette and it's just I saw Billy Don Webb use it and I figured out I saw like the part like down here like the boob of this chick and then I saw the BH Cosmetics so I went to bhcosmetics.com and found whatever the website is and found it and ordered it there <laughs> so and then I like this one is my baby I've tried not to use it as much lately because it has the same the colors have a very similar payoff to the super sock shoot super shock shadows Ugh. maybe I will use this today instead of yeah I'm gonna use this today it's got the same colors in it that I was gonna use anyway by polar bear I swear let's see I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this one okay so what I'm gonna use the color I'm gonna use is let's see this light one which of course they're all shimmers so this one's called Spectre and I'm going to put magnetic this little see hello that's my that's my setup I'm on a book using my phone I was not lying about that that's my lap see my lap is a mess but anyway I am going to use magnetic which is this purple shimmery shade at the end and we'll see how that looks I really like put element underneath of my lashes on my lash line and, and blurring it out so I'm gonna add that too so plus it's kind of a big ass mirror so that's what I need so I'm gonna put you guys back in your home you can stay out box someone put stuff back in you uh, so I'm gonna have to use this for my mirror so hopefully it won't block you out too much is this a good angle or would you like yeah that's a, that's a good angle <laughs> all right first I'm gonna put on my face primer which is this this is my old one, so hopefully I have enough to at least do the majority of my face. Like I said, it is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. Based at I don't know what that means. It's cruelty free, all that good stuff. Refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, and even skin tone. The only thing I found out, it's better, the better amount for your money. And it works. To, to me, it works. Um, I did use a hard candy primer that, and it was like, I think we ended up throwing it away. It came out like a thick cream, and you don't want that for a primer. You want something light that gets a little bit tacky so your makeup sticks. So, and I don't tend to do it all over my face, just in like where my redness is, because that's where I want all the makeup to attach to, if you know what I mean. So I just rub it around my nose, like right in here, and under here, mostly. And it's very light. After a couple seconds, you don't even feel that it's on your skin after you rub it in. It dries to a light tackiness. I got my first dislike on a video, which was like, yay! Somebody hates me already. But um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows while that finishes drying. I said I'm an 04 Runet and stay put brown color from Milani. I've used this, uh, I know there's an Anastasia dip brow and that type of stuff that's like $30. This was like I think eight and it works really good for me. So let me brush these big puppies out, these big fluffy puppies out. I really do need to get them waxed and shaped better, but Now, to fill them in out, like I said, I just do, I fill them in a little bit and kind of make the outline of them a little bit more, like, dense, I guess. I don't know. But you stay someplace, you keep sliding. Okay. But I just take it flat like that. Because it's the perfect size of my brow and just go like that and then t twist it and do the tail. That's all I do. Nothing fancy. I don't go in there and like do individual hairs and all that. I'm like, that's just too much. Especially if I'm just going to Walmart and I'm going out 
see nobody. <laughs> I wanted to get that trim through there. I'm really like, though, the hairs are really long. I tell my parents, give me like an hour to film this video. And then I'll meet you out there. Because it usually takes me about 45, 25 to 45 minutes to put my makeup on, depending on how rushed I am. If I do my eyes, if I like to do like a fancy eye look. So. I was like, I want to meet y'all for lunch. Since y'all left me the car. I thought they were taking the van in for inspection. And I thought they would take both vehicles. But they said they didn't want to leave me home without a vehicle. So, like, you know, with my heart, my issues. I'm like, I'll just call an ambulance if I have to go. But I think the van needs a new tail light or something like that. I don't know. But usually if I do this, my mom ends up going with me the rest of the night. Which is my evil plan and we go out and just go out shopping and we're just looking browsing we don't necessarily buy anything but i do need to get some snacks and some groceries so and that lazy pc just went yesterday to get him and cody some like i said we live in the same property but i don't live in there with him because of gatsby our big lab pit mix and i need to find him a new home but it's not his fault like i don't want to get rid of him and send him to the, the shelter Especially one that has a kill shelter when it's not his fault that I have this heart issue and I can't interact with him because he's so hyper even though he's three years old and I don't want him to risk pulling this out because if he pulls this out I can bleed to death in a minute so it's just nobody wants a dog like that age anymore they all want puppies and sure he acts like a 50 pound 60 pound puppy but he did he has gotten a little bit chiller over this past year Especially because Cody, he, he knows Cody has an issue. He knows Cody is autistic. I don't know how the dog knows, but he knows. And um, he's very calm around Cody, which is really good. All right, next I am going to do my eye primer, I guess. Like I said, it's the e.l.f. one. I think they only have their one shade. It says sheer, but sheer. I mean, at least you're getting some pigment. You can also use your concealer for this if you want to. I was thinking about getting a MAC Pink Chili Paint Pot because they look bigger and they look like they would actually last you a long time. So maybe I'll invest in that because I do like MAC makeup. I always have, ever since when I first started doing makeup, I got this pink eyeliner and this turquoise eyeliner and I used to crap out of them. So I just go over the whole lid area. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I hate when people do beauty tutorials and I'm like this and I'm doing this and you can't see what they're doing. At least some you can see some of what I'm doing. And I'm kinda of far away out trying to get like close it up a little bit. I just put it all over the general eye area and I blend it out with the pointy end of this Walmart. 496 beauty blender it has seen better days but I mean this one I think is three dollars or two dollars something like that and it works really good and I'll see you like I said if I don't feel like it I use this clean by and fair by I think it was covergirl yeah covergirl as my actual concealer. All right, got that on. While that's drying, I'm going to do my color correction. This is Hard Candy Color Correct Expert Cream. This works really good for redness. They have different colors for your different problems. If you want something to brighten, to cover up, and reduce redness, they have these. And they have cushions too. I haven't tried it, gotten on that whole cushion trend. This works really good. What I do is I give myself whiskers and a bendy dot on my head and blend it out because most of my redness is like right in here and my cheeks so whiskers and then a little there and just a little up here that's it this was like 5.96 at walmart i saw it one day and i was like mm. it was like two for ten but there wasn't anything else i wanted so i got that and then I blend it out. 
and yes, you're gonna look a little green, like you're the creature from the Blue Lagoon, like Swamp Thing, but then you're gonna put foundation over it, and it'll go away. You put a little bit more around the nose on that side. And I don't see how some of these YouTubers, they go in on their makeup, like, they'll have, like, dirt, like, not dirt, but, like, dust from the makeup and fall out all over it. I'm like, I like to keep my makeup looking clean, so I always wipe mine down alcohol after a while. Okay. So, I used to do concealer next, but I found out you're supposed to do it after you put your foundation on to brighten up your under eye. So, that's what I'm going to do. I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the new shade Peach Natural. This matches my skin extremely well. So, I'm very happy I found this because I was using like Nude Ivory which kind of gave me almost, like, if you looked at me in the right light, I had, like, this white, um, I guess, flashback look to it, which is not supposed to have. I keep hearing things, this dollhouse is freaking me out, man. And I'm home alone, except for my cat. She's not in here. They took the dogs with them, so I don't know what it is. Anyway, just dab that around. It is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I always work it out. And don't forget to blend it down in your next sum. You don't want to see any harsh lines. I might fast forward through this, like fast speed it up because, oh shoot, I forgot to blend that out up there. Oh, oh no. Okay, that's better. I just blended it out enough. I'll speed this up. You'll probably hear me talking like a chipmunk. Because this is the longest process of getting enough foundation on or you feel comfortable and covered and concealed. And I always break some down on my chin below. And I always blend it out to my ear, like that little part right there in your ear. So there's no like harsh line. Okay. I think that side looks good. Let me see. Okay, my nose needs some more. I need some more juice in my nose. Oh, it just dripped my pants. Okay, good enough. It dripped a little on my pants. I'm sorry. I knew I was supposed to say I was going closer up, but. And I kind of do a mix of dabbing and swiping depending on where I'm at on my face. But whatever works for you, works for you. It may not work for somebody else, but it works for me. Like, especially underneath my eye. I do like heavy dabs. Yeah, I think I'm good. So, I'm going to put this up. Alright. Now, I'm going to put this up. Okay. Use this. their eyes so I guess that's what I'm gonna do I don't use a whole lot and to me this doesn't crease or anything like I see some people complain about some um, concealers creasing under their eye I don't notice any creasing but I don't have that many lines on my face except in my forehead where I'm always constantly worried about something. And my next step is this Cody Airspun to set the face. Because right now it's it's there, but it's a little like 
if I move, like if it gets humid outside or something, or if it starts to rain, it's it might wash off. So, and I'm taking the lid off of my like the thing that holds the powder in, I'm taking it off so I can get more of my sponge. And I don't bake. I just like dab it in all over my face. Get this the granny sponge out of the way. Rub it in as much as it'll go. Uh, okay. okay. So that's that. You really can't tell because my camera is like, look, it's got like a yellowish overwash to it. I don't know why. I guess it's the light in the room. I don't know. But my face is set, so I'm gonna put my powder very carefully back up because it will spill all over the place. Okay. I do like to set this stage and I will set it at the end again. Ah! That was in my ear. get one that has like a continuous spray of water. God, I feel like I'm drenched now. Okay. So, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes while I'm waiting for that to dry. So, I'm going to take this Spectre Peachy Shimmery Shade and make that my all over shade. And I usually never want the brush for these. I like the payoff that they give by themselves, so. shade is ready to go because you can blend it all the way up to your eyebrows if you wanted to just to get like a sheer shimmer it looks really pretty alrighty now it's going to go in with that magnetic color I'm going to use a little denser brush that came in one of the little Hot Topic palettes and use that to fill that out and do that This palette is also fun if you're doing the Harley Quinn look with the one blue eye and the one pink eye. I used to do that a lot with this palette with their Suicide Squad came out. Okay, I succeeded. Right. I don't know if you may want to tell, but there's a little bit, it looks like a bruise basically, and there's a little bit of my crease line. That's what I was going for, surprisingly. So what I did was, after I put Magnetic on, purple one, I went down to Vega, this bright blue one, and put some of that on top. And it worked out really good. So I'm going to do that with the other eye. Not like you can tell with this lighting. I'm sorry. Amy Slayton uses it and everybody loves her freaking videos. That's why I'm so excited to get this new camera. Because it'll have better lighting capabilities. For some reason, my right side is my dominant side, but for some reason, I always blend out the left eye better. I don't know. Do you guys do that? Do you guys work on an eye and then your other eye is usually the better one? I wouldn't really call this a smoky eye or anything. It's kind of giving me smoky eye vibes, but I wouldn't call it a smoky eye. I don't know how to do a smoky eye. Now I'm going to go underneath with this 
orangey coppery shade called magnetic no it's element like i said i like to use underneath for some reason i don't know i just dig it underneath my waterline even if it doesn't match the actual colors i'm wearing i still like it like i'll either usually do that or use teal eyeliner I'm using the overhead ceiling fan light for lighting. definitely not professional in any way when it comes to doing makeup I just do what works for me and that's it all right since my setting powder is set and kind of dried I'm going to put my highlighter on I have my highlighter with my blush on which is this little tart free one I got for my birthday which actually works on my skin even though I just did all this to take the redness away, I still want a little bit of redness, like pinkness, just to make it look like I'm alive. So, a little dab. And I blend that out really good because, you know, you don't want two big pink circles on your cheeks. You want to make sure it's blended out really good. highlighter and since it's kind of tacky I put glitter on my brush that way I can have a shimmery highlighter like this nice beautiful highlighter color with this BH Cosmetics pearl cosmetic grade glitter loose glitter it calls itself so what I'll do is I'll tap I turn it over and tap some into the cap and then use within the cap first so I'll get some of this on my brush. You have to use a really dense brush to pick this up or use your fingers. But see like this one I've already hit pan on the little spot. But I'll just cover it up, move it back down this way because it's like a liquid green type of thing. So we won't say that that happened. And then I'll dip it into my glitter. Now it's got glitter all over it. I don't know if that'll be able to pick up but you can see a little bit of sparkle. And then I just go in. So it puts a little bit of glitter down along with the highlighter. And I always like to blend down with my highlighter a little bit because at first when I was just doing this and this, it, when I would look into the mirror later on, it would just be two weird highlighter streaks. And usually I use the purple highlighter. And I look like a freaking alien. I mean, for real. <laughs> some product up here. Grab me some glitter. And if I'm not happy with the amount of glitter that I have on, I will add more. Because I'm living the 90s lifestyle of you can never have too much glitter. But I really like the highlight this does all over your face. A lot of people want their nose to be shiny after they just made it. So it wasn't shiny. Put a little bit on the forehead, right? We're gonna do that today. Just a little bit. There we go. That's a tad. And they put a little bit on your chin. And I'm just using whatever sucked over on the brush I'm not dipping in again. Okay, whatever. That's good enough. Now I want a little bit more glitter, so I'm going in with a lot of glitter. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't use it that much. You scratch that off. Okay. Body, we can do what the hell we want. 
As long as we ain't hurting nobody, do it how you want with your makeup. I'm almost finished with my it book. Guys, I'm on the like last hundred pages. Let's do, um, I, oh, I said I was gonna spray my face first. Okay, right? right. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I, I'm totally not a professional. Professional, but. It always surprises me with the first pump. It's just like, water all over your face. I don't, it, I had to explain to my mom. It's basically hairspray for your face. It makes your makeup stay. I don't know how it does it, but it does. So I'm put my, I'm gonna use my little mini bad gal bang. I'm going to get the full size when I run out. Cause it works really, really good. And you hold your breath. I don't wear falsies, so that won't be a step that's included. thing about the little size is the wand so little if I go to reach over my nose I'll tap my nose and the process took it on my nose so I'm trying to learn how to do it like this but it's just hard I don't curl my eyelashes either, but when I put my mascara on, I put it in different directions, so they all point in different directions, if that makes sense. Okay, the bottom lash is on the side of the heart is. Enough. That one looked too dangerous. Like, <laughs> I haven't got any speckles on my face. I'm good. That's it for that part. And last but not least, I'm gonna put this on. If I can open it, I know I'd already took the seal off. All right. I mean, I can take the whole sticker off with the bar and everything. Popcorn for two. That's what this shade is called. That makes no sense. I hate when they put it right there where you have to take it off. So what I usually do is I'll put it down here around somewhere. But it's not important so that way I know the shade when I go back to get more if I like it. Now, okay, there we go. Alright, so there's, it like blends in with my skin. <laughs> so it's um, pink with a lot of gold just like this nail polish. It has like a duochrome effect to it. Um, it's pretty. that oily lip gloss feel for sure. Okay. All right, so basically it's a little bit, gives my lips a little bit of a lighter color to them with the shimmer on top. I always take a lipstick, um, lime crime lip crusher with me just in case. But yeah, it's pretty. I don't know why I keep doing that because I know it's not going to dry down because it's a gloss. And there's a small, slight fragrance, but it's not anything I can identify. It's not like really chemically or anything. So if you're sensitive to fragrances, this one should be all right for you, I think. The only thing I have makeup wise that has a really strong scent is this Cody's Air Spun Powder. I don't know why they make it smell like old lady, but they do. They need to cut that shit out and make it unscented because it's really strong. So I'll put that all back in there. I'm going to take this with me. Um, let me take it back up. That's kind of goes with it. I'm going to take Lime Crime Diamond Crusher and Lit with me because it's very similar to this. And this actually dries down, so sometimes when I wear a gloss, I'll put this over it and it will dry down. It's one little trick I learned. I don't know if it works for everybody. If it 
if that's how it really works or if it's just me being stupid then I don't know how makeup works type of deal but that's it that's how I do my makeup usually I do a bolder eye look but Sometimes I'm just going to be out with my parents, going out for lunch and stuff. I went with a simpler eye look so I don't embarrass them and look like a hooker. Because, <laughs> and this is a traditional, like, the way I live, the area, um, we're surrounded by everybody wears, like, traditional makeup. You don't see too many people with wild colors everywhere. So that's what I kind of went for today. So hopefully I pull that off and achieve it. I get my, this has my extra pump in it. Um, and when I take when I go out, it's got my extra pump and cassette and batteries, everything just in case my pump malfunctions. I have a spare. You always want to take that with you. I'm just gonna put my lip glosses in there until I get my purse. And I will see you in the next video. Like I said, this is just me getting ready. Um, if you can take away any tips, take them away. Um, if you can give me any tips, definitely leave them below in the comments. I am so open to constructive criticism and saying hey you could do this to do that to make this look better i'm up for that so if you have any questions on how i do anything comment below i'll try to answer as many as i can and of course i'm not gonna get like 100 million people i ask any questions but um i check my youtube creator profile like once a week after i post a video so it takes me a little while to reply i don't check it every day but sometimes i just don't whip out my computer I just sit there and read all day, so I'm one of those little boring people. But yeah, anyway, that was it. Um, I'm off to get a better camera and hopefully eat some down home country cooking. And I will see you in the next video. So, like, comment, subscribe, join the pack. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.